Well, don't both talk at once. I want an apology. Fine. I'm sorry. I made a mistake, all right? I just want to put it behind us. Great. So we're sorted then. Good. Happy? No. Actually, she should be made to apologise in front of everyone. Now, don't push your luck, Kirsty. What she accused me of is outrageous. Well, I quit while you're ahead. Mr. Donovan, I... We're done. Good to have you back, Fizz. You two aren't falling out again, I hope. No, we're fine. Right, well, uh, quick tuna mayo and then I've got to persuade phrase as it was their fault that batch of elastic was cream and not green. Was it their fault? No. Wish me luck. No rest for the wicked. No rest for the wicked. You get off, Tommy. Yeah. You're going nowhere. I, I thought you said you two were all right. She's trying to mess up me and Tyrone. Oh, I'm sure that's not... I know about the text you've been sending him. What time? It's paranoid. And then I come in here, and you two are stood scheming, talking about how Tyrone has got to sort things. What things? Exactly! You know as well as I do that Tyrone wouldn't hire you if you were the last oily rag in Weatherfield. That is not what you were talking about! You are not going to believe anything we say, are you? So why don't we just drop it, eh? But I'll, I'll go. You haven't answered my question. We weren't talking about anything. We were just chatting. I can't remember what we said. She's always had it in for me. Jealous. Spiteful. You need to calm down. I was right. You should have been your mouth that got stitched on your hand. Are you threatening me? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? This is right, Kirsty. You need to calm down. And take advice off her. I'm looking out for my fiance, my daughter. The people I love be something she couldn't possibly understand. I've got a baby too, you know. The one you took to prison. Oh, you damaged her. What the hell is this? Stop it. What are you doing here? Come here. You just made us sound totally unprofessional to phrases. Pack it in. Still here? If you'd not insisted we went for Kate, we'd have caught the beginning of this. You walk out this factory, you don't come back. I can't work with her. You've only been back a day. I didn't start it. Make her swear on her daughter's life that she's not trying to bust up my relationship. I'm not making anyone swear on anyone's life. Right. This is your final warning, OK? Both of you, get back to work now, or I'm not kidding, you'll both get your cards. Delisa, kiss in here. Oh, hello. Oh, you come to see your mummy? Oh, what's up? What are you doing it? Either you're here because something's seriously up or disappear back home before I close this place and torch it for insurance. I am this close. You've got one minute, Tyrone, all right? Quicker than filling out insurance forms. Come in. Right. Today has been an absolute shambles. Rob, I'll handle this. I'm sorry. I won't let my personal life affect me work again. You'll not have chance, love. Rob! What? I'm psyched! What for? Just for fancying someone else's fella? You've been causing disruption for weeks. You've even had the police on us, and then on your first day back, you attack another member of staff. That's gross misconduct. Yeah, but she... Fizz! You're putting us in a very difficult position. I've got a baby to support. Oh, I'll give you a good reference. If you apply for out to do with boxing. I need this job. I really wish I could find another way. I really do. But how can we have you and Kirsty on the same factory floor? After what you've said? I mean, is it true? It's all true. Then I'm sorry, love. 1P45. 